Hey everybody, in this topic I'm going to explain while loops. A while loop will execute some code while some condition remains true. Here's an example, we'll use an if statement first. We will ask a user for their name. Name equals input. Enter your name. If our name is equal to an empty string, that means the user didn't type in anything. Let's print a message. You did not enter your name. Else, we will print using an F string. Hello, our user's name. If I were to skip this prompt, we would execute this if statement. Then we continue with the rest of the program. What if I would like to continually prompt the user to type in their name? We can't continue until they type in something. Well, we could replace this if statement with a while loop. While this condition is true, continue to execute this code. Within the while loop, I'm going to reprompt the user to type in a name. Then if we were to exit the while loop, then we will print hello, whatever your name is. So let's run this. Enter your name, I'm going to hit enter. You did not enter your name, enter your name, no, no, no. Okay, I give up. I'll type in my first name, hit enter. Hello, whatever your first name is. While this condition remains true, execute this code potentially forever until this condition is no longer true. So that's one of the main benefits of a while loop. If it's not true, then you exit out of the while loop. And that's why we we're able to continue, then print our name. Hello, name. You do want some way to escape out of the while loop. Otherwise, you'll run into what's known as an infinite loop. So let's say while name is equal to an empty string, we will print, you did not enter your name. So I'm going to hit enter. So we are stuck in an infinite loop. We can't actually escape this loop. We didn't give ourselves an exit strategy. That's why previously we reprompted the user to type in something. We're giving them a chance to escape. In a way, it kind of works like an if statement, but instead of executing some code once, it's potentially infinite. Here's another example. This time, let's ask for a user's age. Age equals, and I will convert the input to an integer. Enter your age. We'll need the user to type in a positive number. While age is less than zero, let's print a message to let the user know that they can't do that. Age can't be negative, then we need some strategy to escape. Let's reprompt the user to enter in their age. Once they type in something that's valid, we can escape out of the while loop. So let's print using an F string, you are age years old. So enter your age. I'm going to say negative one. Age can't be negative, negative two. Negative 1 million. Okay, I give up. How about 21? You are 21 years old. So that was another example. While our age variable is less than zero, repeat this code forever. Let's go over example three. I'm going to introduce some logical operators. We will have the user type in a food they like. Food equals input. Enter a food you like. But in order to escape, they need to press Q to quit. While food is equal to the letter Q, continue this while loop. However, I'm going to make one change. We want to exit the while loop when they press Q. So you could say while not food equals Q. So within this while loop, let's print the food that they stated that they like. I'll use an F string. You like your variable food. Then we will prompt the user to enter in another food that they like. Enter another food you like, Q to quit. Then once we escape the while loop, we will print just buy. Okay, enter a food you like, Q to quit. I like pizza. You like pizza. I like sushi. You like sushi. I like ramen. You like ramen. Okay, this program's kind of lame, so I'm going to press Q to quit. 
and we escape the while loop, we have printed by. So you could do something while something is not true by using the not logical operator. All right, last example, example four. We will use the or logical operator. We'll ask a user to type in a number between one and 10. Let's say num equals input, enter a number between one through 10. Then I will typecast the input as an integer. While our number is less than one or our number is greater than 10, let's reprompt the user. Let's print using an F string, our variable num is not valid. Then we will reprompt the user. Enter a number between one and 10. Once we escape the while loop, then we will print our number. Using an F string, your number is our variable num. Enter a number between one through 10. Zero, zero is not valid. Negative one, 100, nope, uh, five. Your number is five. That's an example of how you can add logical operators to while loops. While this condition is true, or this condition is true, execute this code forever. All right, everybody, so those are while loops. A while loop will execute some code while some condition remains true. It's fairly useful for verifying user input. If a user types in some input that is not valid, you can reprompt them. And there's many other uses that we'll discuss in the future. But yeah, those are while loops in Python.